Shalom and welcome to Mitzvah Torah. This year is entitled, May or Must a Woman Say Halil on Hanukkah? And can she recite a bracha in the previous year on the topic regarding women reciting halil on Hanukkah? We noted that it's not simple that there's a chiyav. The idea that nashim, afhein hai botanes, women were part of the miracle, that includes three mitzvot. A woman has to light Hanukkah candles because they're part of the miracle of Hanukkah. A woman must drink four cups of wine because she's part of the she was part of the miracle of Yitzhak Mitzvah and the Exodus from Egypt. And a woman must be part of the mitzvah of Megillah because she was part of the miracle as well. Esther and the woman were saved during that time. That's all the Gemara says. The Gemara doesn't say a woman has to recite Hal on Hanukkah because she was part of the miracle of Hanukkah. Therefore, some say she doesn't have the mitzvah of Hanukkah. The mitzvah of Hal on Hanukkah, she doesn't have an obligation. There are those who do want to say that just like a woman has to light Hanukkah candles at night, an extension of that is to say Hala in the morning. There are those who say that, but the Rambam in Paragimel, Helchat Hanukkah says a woman does not have an obligation to recite Hala on Hanukkah. So therefore, what do we do? It turns out to be an optional mitzvah, according to the Rambam and others. Ah, but women have to daven, so maybe because from that angle they have to say Hallel. Women have to daven shacharit, and some say mincha. But who says halal is included in that? So it's not simple to say that either. So right now we are left with the possibility in the Rambam, who says that women are patur, exempt, to wrote, they're exempt from halal on Hanukkah. If that's the case, the question is, can they do it? So let's see. What do we maintain when it comes to optional mitzvah for women? So a woman shakes a lulav. She doesn't have to. She sits in the sukkah. She doesn't have to. Does she make a bracha? So it turns out an amazing question. Ashkenazim, the women say bracha because even though they don't have a chiv, an obligation to do the mitzvah of sukkah lulav, they get, they get a mitzvah. They have a kiyum ha mitzvah when they sit in the sukkah and shake a lulav. So therefore the Ashkenazic woman, they make a bracha because the brachos are the ma'aseh mitzvah. They're doing the mitzvah. Even though there's no chiyuv. And vitzibanu, when they say we are commanded, it means we, Klai are commanded. Svadic women do not make a bracha when they do optional mitzvahs, because vitzibanu, they maintain you need the commandment, and the woman doesn't have the commandment. So they could do the mitzvah, they could sit in the sukkah, but without a bracha. So some want to say, like Rav Avadio say, in Yechavadat, in the very first volume, Siman Ayin Chet, he says, so too by Halal and Hanukkah. Since the Rambam says women don't have to say Halal, we cannot assume there's a chiv to say uh, Halal. Therefore, she can recite Halal, but without the brachot. She cannot say the brachot on Halal, not before, not after. While Ashkenazim, they go ahead and they do make bracha, brachot on Absha Mitzvot, so Ashkenazic women can say the bracha. That's what Rav Avad Yosef brings down. Rav Malam and Hilchus Hanukkah, he says it as well. So it turns out, everyone should ask that posik what to do, but there's a very good story to say that just like Ashkenazic women make a bracha on Lulav and Sukkah, so too they can make a bracha on Halil Hanukkah morning. While Sfardim, who do not, do not make a bracha on optional mitzvot, would not say a bracha on this optional mitzvah as well. Shalom.